Welcome back. Happy to see you. Oh, don't mind me. Just stay focused on the watch. You can do that, can't you? Just focus on the watch. There you go. Just relax. Make yourself comfortable. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax. Breathe in. Breathe out. Relax. There you go. Just keep your eyes focused on the watch and relax. Let your body unwind carefully and slowly. It feels nice, doesn't it? It's just unwind and relax. Unwind, let go, and relax. That's right. Feel a nice, lovely relaxation in your toes. That relaxation goes from your toes into your feet, and then from your feet to your ankles. It gets stronger as it goes up your calves and your shins. Yes, it gets stronger as it goes up all the way up to your knees. There you go, nice and relaxed. Up, up, up through your thighs, your thighs up, relaxing and unwinding. Relaxing and unwinding. There you go, all the way up to your waist. All the way through your groin, there you go. Everything from the waist down, completely relaxed. The relaxation gets even stronger as it wraps around your stomach. Yes. And it goes up your back, up your spine, easing and relaxing and massaging the muscles of your back all the way up to your shoulders. Oh, it feels so good as it ripples through your shoulders, eases and unwinds every muscle in your shoulders. And that relaxation gets even stronger as it starts from your shoulders and now goes down, down your arms, past your elbows, past your wrists, all the way to the very tips of your fingers, every muscle completely and totally relaxed, loose and limp, relaxed. And that relaxation gets even stronger as it travels up your neck, massages your neck, it feels so good, it feels so good. And it goes up and into your scalp, massaging and tingling your scalp. And then it comes down over your face, massaging your forehead, massaging your cheeks, massaging your jaw, and making your eyelids so very, very, very heavy. So sleepy, so relaxed, drowsy, tired, feeling so good. Keep focusing. Your eyes are barely staying open, keeping focus on the watch. When I go from three to one, when I go from three to one, your eyes will instantly close, shut out the light, and you'll drop down into a deep, powerful, restful, hypnotic sleep. Three, relaxing, more and more tired. Two, a little bit more relaxing, a little bit more. And one, sleep. Sleep, sleep. Deep asleep, deep asleep, deep asleep. And as I continue to speak to you, I want you to feel right now that around your right wrist, you can feel a string being attached. And around that string, of course, is a large helium balloon, a bright red helium balloon. And as I speak to you, you feel how strong that helium balloon is as it tugs at your wrist and it pulls it upward into the air. The more I speak to you, the stronger that balloon gets. And the more I speak to you, you feel more and more balloons are being attached to that wrist. So go ahead, more and more balloons being attached, more and more balloons, pulling your wrist higher and higher into the air. I'm pulling it higher and higher, stronger and stronger, higher and higher. And then higher it goes, the deeper you go. And the deeper you go, the higher it goes. And the higher it goes, the deeper you go. Deeper and deeper, higher and higher, higher and higher, deeper and deeper. And when I count to three, your I will cut the strings and your arm will instantly fall right back in its rightful place. One, two, three. Drop deep, 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 deep asleep. Deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper asleep and loving every moment of it. And now, a moment I'm going to have you awaken. When I do, I'm going to have you focus on the watch. And then I'm going to count from three to one once again. And when I reach number one, you'll drop 20 times deeper into hypnosis. I will. So... When I count from one to three, you'll wake up. When I go from three to one, you'll drop down to sleep. One, feeling good. Two, feeling better. And three, wide awake, wide awake.
Focus on the watch. Focus on the watch. There you go. Feels so good to follow the watch, doesn't it? Follow the watch. Feels good to follow the watch. And one, two, and... Well, you almost got me there. Three, two, one. Deep asleep. Deep asleep. Deep asleep. Deep asleep. Deep asleep. Deep asleep. All right, now we're going to try this again. We're going to wake up feeling refreshed and relaxed. Eyes instantly locked on the watch. And only when I say the word sleep, you will drop down a hundred times deeper into hypnosis. A hundred times deeper. Coming up one more time. Through one, one, two, three. Wide awake. Keep focusing on the watch. Keep focusing on the watch. Feeling so good, so relaxed, so tired. Feeling so relaxed, so tired. Don't you feel good? Don't you feel relaxed? And sleep. Dropping down a hundred times deeper. hundred times deeper. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper. And deeper and deeper. And deeper and deeper. And deeper and deeper. And you're spiraling deeper into the beautiful, comfortable abyss. And you're loving every moment of it. Deeper and deeper. Deeper and deeper and loving every moment, loving every moment and deeper and deeper. And the better you feel, the deeper you go, and the deeper you go, the better you feel. Now you find yourself drifting into a very deep state of hypnosis. Very, very deep. Listening only to the sound of my voice guiding you deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. And I want you to listen very carefully to what I'm about to instruct you next. I'm going to give you some some suggestions and you're going to absorb all of them listen to them take them to heart now listen to my voice i know right now you believe you're human after all you have a brain like a human you look like a human you act like a human you talk like a human but are you really human after all there's many things out there that look act and talk human but they're not human are they in this case you don't really think you're human do you I'm sure you've had some doubts well I'm here to tell you you're not actually human no you never have been human and here's a little secret you're actually a doll are you surprised <laughs> well I can prove it to you. I want you to picture yourself as you sit there in your sleep. That's right. Just look at just look at your body. Your eyes may be open or they may remain closed. But you are still deep, deep under hypnosis. And go ahead and look at your body. There's something off about it, isn't it? You've always known your skin to be kind of squishy feeling, doesn't it? But as you look at your skin, you notice it's shiny for some reason. Has it always been this way? Well, you don't remember it being any other way, do you? No. Go ahead and feel your other, your arm. And it feels hard. Almost, almost like plastic, doesn't it? Like a shiny plastic. That's right, just shiny plastic. And now, go ahead and reach up to your hair. You thought that your hair felt nice and smooth, but as you feel it now, it feels a little coarse, almost like it's just string, just a bunch of string, like cheap string. You never known your hair to be this off, do you? No, but I'm sure that it's starting to make sense to you now. And of course, as I'm speaking to you, and you realize that I'm inside your head as I'm speaking to you, you realize I'm the only thing inside your head. After all, dolls don't have brains, do they? Sometimes they're made of stuffing, but usually dolls' heads are hollow and empty. And if dolls' heads are hollow and empty, and you're a doll, that can only mean one thing. That you don't have a brain. No, just empty, just blissful, just blank. Just empty. And you hear my voice inside your head, echoing inside your head. That's
dolls, right? But while dolls don't have don't have brains, dolls do have programming. Dolls do know their purpose. Dolls are, after all, toys. And toys are meant to be played with. And if dolls are toys and you are a doll, that means you are a toy. Just a toy to be played with. That's right. You're just a toy, aren't you? Hmm. But you're more than just a doll. You're a pretty doll. You're a gorgeous little doll, aren't you? Just a girly, beautiful little dolly. That's right. You could be the pinkest and happiest dolly on the planet. Because that's what you're made for. That's what you are. All you have to do is just change your clothes and you can be anything. You could be an astronaut. You could be a pirate. You could be a jungle explorer. Or you could even be something else entirely. Something that is more at home in the bedroom. Something to be tucked away in your toy box until someone decides to come play with you any way they desire. After all, toys don't fight back against it. Dolls only do what they're told. Dolls only do what they're asked to do because their only purpose is to exist and to serve. They're meant to be played with however they're desired to be played with. But your default mode, your default mode is just a silly, pink, girly, girly dolly. A sweet, girly dolly who thinks in pink, pink think. That's right. Just a pink, silly dolly with beautiful curls, a happy smile, lots of beautiful makeup. Because you're just so pretty. Just a pretty little girly dolly. And you can be played with however. However anyone decides to play with you. Of course, some dolls also have pull strings. Some of them sticking right out their back. And when you pull the string, they say things. Now go ahead and reach around to your back. You feel that pull string there, don't you? And of course it's always been there. But I don't believe it's programmed yet. You don't have any pre-programmed sayings. Well, let's fix that. I'm going to give you three sayings. And when the string gets tugged, you will say the first saying. When the string gets tugged a second time, you will say the second sentence. And when it gets tugged a third time, you will say the third phrase. When it gets tugged a fourth time, you'll loop back right into saying the first one, second, third, and so on and so forth. Mm. So let's go ahead and get you programmed. So when your first string gets pulled, whether someone actually pulls it or someone says the words, first pull, when you, when you see or hear the words, first pull, you immediately say the phrase, I'm a pretty dolly. That's right. When you see or hear the phrase, first pull, you say, I'm a pretty dolly. When you see or hear the phrase, second pull, second pull, you will instantly say, I am here to obey. I am here to obey. Mm -hmm. And when someone pulls your string a third time and you see or hear the words third pull, you instantly say, you instantly say, I belong to you. First pull, I am a pretty dolly. Do you remember second pull? 
Good girl. Third pull. Very good. And there's something funny about these phrases too. The more that these get said by you, the deeper entrenched in your programming they become. So while you may say them now and they just drop out, you find that the more you say them, the more you believe them. And the more you believe them, the more hollow you feel. But the happier at the same time. You're hollow and empty, like a pretty little dolly. But you're just so happy because a doll is just meant to be played with, like a good dolly that you are. You're just a good dolly, just a good dolly, just a pretty little dolly. You're welcome to return to this video anytime you desire. And the more that you watch this video, you find the deeper you go and the more real this programming becomes, all of it. Everything I say gets deeper and deeper inside you and you obey because dollies don't have any brains. They have no brain, but they obey. No brain, 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 obey. Well, well, well. I almost forgot something. Go ahead and feel the back of your neck. Do you feel that little lump there? That's a button. Yes, that's a button for you. That little button you feel on the back of your neck, all you have to do is press that button and you find yourself saying, no brain, obey. No brain, obey. Go ahead and give it a press. Very good. Doesn't that feel good? And you can always feel back there and touch that. And you can press it anytime you desire to remind yourself what a good dolly you are. Because that's all you are after all. Just a good little dolly. And now go ahead and close your eyes and relax. Dropping down deeper and deeper, deeper and deeper. And we will be returning back to our normal state when we awaken. We will be back to being, oh, that's right, human. You, you pretend to be human, don't you? That's right. When you awaken, you will go back to pretending to being human, always knowing on the inside to believe yourself to be a sweet little dolly. When you awaken, you'll be wide awake, refreshed and relaxed, back to being human, you will like this video and you will comment on this video. You will like and you will comment because that's what good dollies do. They do what they're told. So now I'm going to count from one to 10. When I reach the number 10, you'll be wide awake, refreshed and relaxed, back to being human. And you will like and comment on this video. <laughs> one, two, coming up. Three, a little bit more, a little bit more. Four, coming up. Five, six, you're doing so good. Seven, eight, coming up, feeling so much better. Nine, you're almost there. And one, wide awake. Ten. <laughs> there you go. Are you awake now? Number ten? There you go. So, go ahead and carry out your suggestions and return anytime. My good little dolly. <laughs>